welcome back to the Railcast. It's DJ Rail Life here with Tall 305 and TJ. What's going on, fellas? What's going on? How you doing? Good, good. TJ here, motivated for Christ. What's up? All right, you, you prepared this week? Nope. No? Again? Not two, again two, two weeks in a row? Two, two weeks, weeks in a row. row. I'm consistent. Oh, the consistency is not there. <laughs> <too. laughs> yeah, you bragging about, about that, that man. <laughs> How's y'all week going, fellas? The week is blessed, man. Happy to be alive. You know, striving for the best for tomorrow. Right, TJ? We going pretty good, um, you know, working, um, trying to inform the people, you know, and real cast and motivate for Christ, you know, just keep pushing. Right, and again, uh, the real cast does have a YouTube page right, right now. It's two episodes up. Uh, Cousin S, which I believe is what episode uh, six, I believe. I think seven. Seven. I believe I think it's six or seven, and also the last episode we did, uh, Orlando is for lovers. So, uh, you can subscribe to YouTube, it's the Railcast YouTube page, and also, you can still follow through Anchor and Radio Public and the other outlets. So, uh, what you guys want to get into first? Let's get into the topic of, uh, the young kids from the Bronx. Junior, uh, you know, you know about Junior, Todd? I didn't hear about that. Uh, well, let me, let me, let me put you on. Junior was a, a 15-year-old kid. Spanish kid from the Bronx. He went to uh, uh, the local bodega in his neighborhood, and he got caught up in, with with, the, with some gang members, the Latin Kings. There were six of them. They dragged him out of the store, stabbed him up. All this is on video. Mm-hmm. They stabbed him up. Uh, he was bleeding really bad. He tried to go to run to the hospital. He didn't make it. Uh, all this is all this is on video. The cops showed up. The cops are trying to get a statement out of him instead of helping him. Wow. So he pretty much uh, died, 15 years old. All because uh, a case of mistaken identity. The, uh, it was a kid that looked like him, was messing around with one of the guy's sister. Hmm. And they went to go get him, and it was someone who looked like him, but it wasn't him. So, he, yeah, he, he stabbed him up and, and at 15 years old. How do you, what do you guys... Uh, think about this kind of uh, behavior? Well, you know, personally, I think that, uh, you know, that behavior is going around. You know, I don't really think that you can really dictate uh, who your, your family members are dating. You know, yeah, you're the big brother. Yeah, you don't want your little sister dating this guy, but it's up to her to, to shoot the guy away or whatever, tell the guy, you know, leave me alone or whatever the case may be. And, uh, you know, maybe... You know, this guy still be alive if the sister would have stepped up and say, you know, this guy's not, uh, I don't really like this guy, or whatever the case may be. Well, what it was, she was sleeping around, and he posted, I guess, a video of pictures on social media. So it was out there, and I guess, you know, she got mad and, and told them guys, and them guys killed this young guy. Wow. Yeah, that's sad news. Yeah, um... Uh, you know, uh, it's just crazy to kill a, a guy, you know. It would have been wrong. They would have beat him up, but he still would have been living instead of killing him. Uh, right. But social media, how do you feel about that, TJ? Unfortunately, it happens. This story that was actually, you know, just hit the, you know, hit social media. Um... I mean, you got to be careful, man. You know, it's, gangs is everywhere. You know, I believe gangs is everywhere, man. It just sad to happen to this young man. You know, feel sorry for the family and, and fortunately it's go down like that. But but do you, you put this more on the gang? Because I, I think this is bigger than the gang. Like, this is happening just... It's happening throughout the world. Yeah, regular kids. Yeah. That, that's not in gangs, you know, with, with social media and, and, and kids being bullied and... That kind of uh, behavior. Well, now we're in, we're in an mm-hmm. era where everything is on the videotape. You right. know, uh, kids uh, are setting up fights, and the first thing they want to do is grab their phone instead of helping a kid that's getting his brains beat up, beat out. Uh, they want to just bring out a video camera and record them. Right. Post it on throughout the school, but neither one of them help them. Right. There was a lot of people in that corner that had their phones out. People are not going to help you and, nowadays. Yeah. And, we did, you know, we're in an era where everybody have a phone, but nobody want to render help. Young now, world star. Yeah, exactly. They see a, a young guy beating on his girlfriend or, or vice versa. First thing they want to do is pull out their phone instead of calling, you know, for the police to help them or whatever. They pull out their phone and videotape the whole incident and post it. 
Because right. they're addicted to likes, um, getting followers. But that really, I don't think that really, you know, addicted to likes and followers. I just think that we're in an era where everything has to be posted on social media. We feel like we're popular. We have a, a video on Worldstar or, or Instagram or Snapchat, you know. Yeah, I think I think it's both. I think it, it is uh, likes are the substitution of love now. So um, it's it's about that. It's about exclu- being exclusive. I got it here first. Let me post this up. Um, and social media has been the the, um, the force behind a lot of kids dying. Whether it's murders like this, whether it's uh, suicide, social media has been the, the 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 drive behind it. A lot of kids now are are they have, they have words not face to face, but on social media, and then when they meet in person. They shooting each other. Exactly. You know, but as of today, um, all six members were uh, arrested today. Actually, one of the, the kids' mother turned them turned them in. Um, would you guys be able to do that? Like, yes. if your kid uh, did a crime, you know he did the crime. Would Would you, as a parent, be able to would, would turn it your kid in? Yeah, I would turn it in. Turn them in. This is a well. Especially as a boy, I turned him in quick. So but they have to learn. So if it was a girl, you wouldn't turn her in. I, mean, I turned him in too, but they have to learn. Wrong is wrong. Ain't no gender difference. I'm sorry, ain't no gender difference. But I turned him in fast. So you would turn your kid in if they, turn him in. you would. No yeah. hesitation. No hesitation. Mm. Yeah, that's a tough one. But uh, rest in peace to Junior, and prayers and condolences go out to his family, friends, that whole South Bronx um, neighborhood. Also, speaking of uh, people passing today, uh, Joe Jackson, the father of uh, Jackson 5, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, the whole Jackson family, passed away today at 89. He was having, I believe, problems with terminal cancer. Yeah, terminal cancer. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, You've been dealing with that for some time. Right. Uh, What's been crazy, been hearing a lot of stuff about him. People are actually happy that he's dead. Wow. Well, I think that, you know, that's based on the uh, uh, everybody's opinion because they think that, you know, the Jackson was mistreated, they overworked them, and, and vice versa, but they don't really know them like that. You know, it's just based on the opinion of what people said. Right. Right. Um, Cause nobody knows, you know, anybody in the Jackson family other than Michael and Janet and Latoya. I mean, you, you know Jermaine and Tito and... You heard about them, but you don't know about them. You 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 know about him. I mean, you, you know him about him because it's like jokes and stuff. But you yeah, but you, you know him. Get albums. Yeah, you know what I'm I saying. Mean, you know hey, Jermaine, Jermaine got some joints. Yeah, I mean, and then of course, what are we doing now? He, he probably got his head still in the S curve or something. But you know what I'm saying? You he, he's not popular as uh, obviously Michael and Janet. Janet. Yeah, but you right. know, all of them you know did their thing. But yeah, I think it's because, like you said, they uh, it's always been rumors that he you know beat his kids and yeah, he overworked them. That kind of stuff. And beat the mom up and, you know, all kind of stuff. Right. You know, but to, to wish somebody dead when you really don't know the people and you don't know the story, yeah. uh, it's just it's just crazy. The man, you know, you got to give him credit as far as, you know, he's seen, he, he made his family into stars. You know, we can't judge him as far as if he overworked them or not, you know. He disciplined his kids the way he felt like he, he should have disciplined, but, you know. The man had a dream to push his kids and he did. to a... Another, you know, another level to, you know, uh, to start him, I guess. So, actually, so not, you know, I guess he took on the big wigs like uh, Quincy Jones. You know, he, you know, he took on Quincy Jones. He wanted, you know, he wanted to have his better life for his family. And, you know, some people might disagree to his method, how he raised his child, his children, but... It worked. It, it worked on a certain extent. You know, right. he probably could did some stuff different. That's like any man could do stuff different with a child. You know, but that's what he did. And he made it like a, I guess you can say it like a little small dynasty what it is today. Right. You know, nobody, you can't really say, I mean, say nothing about him. But people who know, I don't know the guy, you know, personally. Right. But people who know personally might know some stuff. But, hey, and, and the man's dead. And, and, you know, he raised people that gave him, gave people great music. Right. You know, uh, we still listen to nine day like today. You know, and um, actually gave people uh, black people hope to do something music wise. Exactly. You know, so you can't say, 
people can't say, oh, they glad the man's dead, but he got, you, you can't be, oh, I'm glad the man's dead, but you still listen to uh, ABC, Michael Jackson. Right. You know, he, he put the work in. Right. You know, you, you, you know, everyone has, you know, uh, you know, no one's perfect. Everybody has flaws. So instead of looking at the, the things that he allegedly did bad, he had a blueprint for uh, making his family into stars, uh, getting his family out of the hood in the ghetto of, of Gary, Indiana, and 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 building a, a a superstar family, and that set the blueprint. Without that family, there's no new addition. There's no Wu Tang. There's no NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. None of these groups won't, won't exist. So he saw something. He pushed them. Whether it's the right way or the wrong way, the way we think it is, it, it worked. And I think we need to just focus on that good and, and also uh, focus on the health. The man is dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's the bigger picture that this man is dead. And he died from an a, a illness that is killing us left and right, young and old. So I think that would be the, should be the focal point. But, again, rest in peace to uh, uh, Joe Jackson and prayers and condolences go out to him. Uh, what else? We starting off real sad, man. People dying. <laughs> well, that's we got we got lighten this up a little bit. Well, that's going on in news. <laughs> Gee, we're like, okay, let's 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 well, let's talk about the the, the nineteen murders that happened in this. No, man, no, 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 no. no. Let, let's let, no. Let's talk about something funny. Let's yeah, talk about yeah, LeBron James signing with the Heat. No, <laughs> did you guys see the news today? It's been it's been uh they've been showing us all week about the uh the girl who was driving down ninety five and had a, had her baby daddy. On the hood? Yeah, I saw that. You guys seen that? Yeah. Did you hear about that, TJ? I've seen this. <laughs> I'm talking about people kids. Seeing this, this young man on the hood on right. I-95. Right. And what are you on the cell phone? Like, you playing doo-doo jump or something on, no, on the cell phone? No, one hand was holding on for dear life. The other hand was on a phone calling the cops. Okay. So, the story is, if you haven't heard, uh, it's embarrassing because it's part of Florida, but uh, apparently... That was her ex ex boyfriend. They broke up eight months ago, and he jumped on the hood, and she drove it all the way from uh, Lauder Hill. Yes, I said Lauder Hill, ladies and gentlemen, all the way to Lauder Hill. She stopped at Eyes Dairy, so he was on the hood all the time. She stopped at Eyes Dairy. She continued to go all the way to Miami. Of course, people videotaped her. She video. She was taping him mm. uh, while she was driving. Wow. How she's able to drive and tape at the same time, I don't know. So she ended up getting arrested. Like, do you guys think that's fair? That that she got arrested? Yes, it's fair because you, you just stop me. It's some okay. What you going through? That's somebody's life. How come he could have slipped off the hill of the hood of the car and got hit by another car? Yeah, he didn't. And then you'd have been to jail for murder. Yeah. She's saying that he's crazy and this, that, and the third. How you, how you feel about that, Tom? Would you have hung on? To the hood of the car? Yeah, I probably would have. You know, if I was, you know, in fear for my life, I probably would have. He was in his drawers, too. Wow. Like, why was he on his, in his drawers? And I have no hood of the car. You know how they go. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, she got arrested. And he's actually trying to get a restraining order, and they live together. Wow. Which is crazy. Very difficult. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You live no. in the same household. Exactly. But yeah, let's let's. Yeah. So if he if, if <laughs> this is what I'm saying, man. It's just, what saying? Number one, why would you get on the car in the first place? Like he, he she didn't put him on the car and strap him to the car. You could have jumped off when she's jumped off well, ninety five. You know what I'm talking about before he, <laughs> before he even got to that point. He just got off the car. Hey, that's that's his car. Like, I ain't going nowhere. You ain't taking my car no more. We're still in the car. I'm like, okay, well I'm gonna drive off in the car. Okay, then he just she just drove off. Yeah, I mean he's stupid for getting on the car. I don't know if he. You know, was that or he, yeah. maybe he said, you ain't going nowhere. If I can't have you, nobody will. I don't yeah, know what right, he know. was thinking. Then if, it's, if, it's, if, it's, if there's at the house, you had, you had to stop at a stop sign. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, to get to the highway. <laughs> to get to the highway. Like, I don't know. If he, he got on the car on the highway and if he just drove I think off. he got on there before from Lauder Hill all the way to okay, Iowa. So like, you know, you, man, yeah. come on, man. You just ain't jump on the highway and just keep going. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he, he could have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean they both have fault. He's an idiot for jumping on the hood, yeah. and she's crazy for going eighty on ninety five. Like, yeah, it could have went really bad, but yeah, it's embarrassing for Florida. But <laughs> what else you guys want to talk about? You can talk about permit Patty. 
Permanent Patty. Yeah. Go ahead and, go ahead and tell the story. Well, yeah, I know, I know it's probably all over CNN, but Permanent Patty, she called the cops on this little girl who was selling water in front of her apartment. The little girl was trying to earn money to go to Disneyland for her mom to go to Disneyland. Cause I think her mom lost her job. Or she was like unemployed, so they're trying to go to Disneyland. Um... She was eight years old, the little girl. Eight years old. A black uh, little girl. Black little girl. So, how you guys feel about that? Tall? About the eight-year-old? Uh, yeah, about the eight-year-old who? I don't know too much about that. You didn't just hear us tell a story? Yeah, but I don't know too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> what was he I heard, saying? About, you know, I heard y'all talk about it, but I, ain't, uh, I don't know too much about it. Right. Okay, but I didn't watch it on the news. Well... Yeah, some people like D.L. Hughley, you had certain people, uh, entertainers saying that if it was a uh, white um, eight-year-old girl outside selling lemonade, mm-hmm. we would not call the cops on her, on her or him, you know. But you, they said that it was a racial thing because now if you call the cops on a black little girl selling water outside the apartment complex, yes, she have a permit. And one, probably the eight-year-old, eight-year-old girl don't know what a permit is, you know, and... Why would you call the cops on her? It's very similar to the to the lady before. Remember the lady a couple of months ago that called the uh, cops on the people barbecuing? Yeah. It's a very similar situation. So she said the little girl was loud, you know, making up stuff. And then she ended up being on TV the other day uh, crying. Did you guys see that? No. Like she was playing victim. Crying on TV. But, you know. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous, but I think somebody stepped in and actually uh, paid tickets, bought tickets. Yeah, for her. somebody stepped in and bought tickets for her and two other people to go to Disney World, which is yeah. uh, pretty cool, you know. But you got it all the time. You got Girl Scouts, well, Girl Scouts people already know that already. Yeah, but still, you just something that you, don't, you, you don't. Yeah, I like the cooking on joint. <laughs> which one? Yeah, what type of one you get? I think you get. The yeah, one. like you know, he, he like uh, what's the what's the one's called? He yeah, like yeah, he girl got cookies. I know he do. Nah, he don't grab cookies. Yeah, he do. He got the one with the peanut butter. I don't, yeah, I, I, butter I, yeah. He like a peanut butter yeah. guy. I knew it. I, I knew it. Yo, nah, that was a disgusting. Chocolate man, I got something up there. You can take it with you. Yo, yo, okay, yo. Yeah, mess your stomach up, man. Yeah, give me that. Right yeah. there with some cold milk, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, how would you feel if that happened to like your your daughter? You know, so your kid. Like, how would you feel about that situation? Well, it's really, you know, we're in an era where we really can't do much about it. You know, they call it cops on you. You really need to find out what's the root of the situation. But at the time, they just come and arrest your kid or, or do whatever they want to do with your kid and not really know the facts. Mm. You know, sometimes they say, oh, she's out there selling lemonade or she's out there washing cars. The first thing they want to ask, do you have a permit? <laughs> and, and I hit the root of it, like, the kid might be out there doing it to raise rent money or or to pay for school. Or to, or to eat. Or to eat. But we don't look at it like that. Now, if he was out there committing crime, then that's a different... You know, damn. Yeah. But he out there trying to provide food for his family. Then we want to harass him about a, a permit. Yeah, I mean, she wasn't doing a music video or movie, so I don't see why she would need a permit. But it's just another sign of uh, you know, racism that's continuing to go on, go on in 2018. But you know, shout out to the people that bought their little girl her tickets uh, so her her mother can go. What was it to Disney World? Yeah, Disney World. yeah that was that was nice. I, I'm glad somebody stepped in. You know, hope I, you know. I thought maybe she would have been on Ellen or something. Ellen mm-hmm. would jump in, but that, that's cool. But why? Why does it take something to happen to somebody for us to come together and do some project for somebody? I agree. I mean, it's that's just that's just the way of the world. You know, for for, for us, a celebrity to step in, or for somebody in the neighborhood with some money to step in. Well, you had them back in the day. Yeah, but now it's different. Yeah, now you know, now is. Yo, it's, I'm going to do me. Now you don't really have a neighborhood guy who look out for everybody in the neighborhood. No. Nah. Um, you know, have parties at the, the, the park for the kids and stuff like that. You don't have that kind of guy. Nah. No, nah, that guy is either dead or locked up. Now you got the little hungry, trigger, happy little kids that that just care about their clothes. Well, that's what, you know, that's the area we're in. Yeah. Well, most of them are about fashion. And they don't care about no grades. Not at all. They say about 60% of kids in public schools don't go to college. Don't even have a uh, collect a tray at the end of the year. All they do is just finish high school and feel like that's a major accomplishment and then pick up a, a, a little regular job mm. instead of going to college. When you go to a, a private school, your chances of going to college is a little higher than going to public school. Question, did, was you in work study in high school? 
What's work study? Is that like work experience? Like you get it, you, you get yeah, it. Uh, yeah, my senior year. Yeah. So you have you was on? Uh, okay. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to get out of school. I was like probably in like well, three you classes. Know, when you play sports, you can't really. Yeah, play. that's that's true. Yeah, so they really don't have that no more. They don't. They have that. They still have. They that. still have that. But now, now it's a little. I'm glad we're talking about that. Now, uh, things are a little different. Now they no longer have jobs for high school kids like they used to because now adults are taking over those jobs. Mm -hmm. Like nowadays, you go to Publix, you see adults working the uh, cashiers and, and, and yeah. You should see you should see a young kid being the, uh, a, a bag boy. boy. Now you seen that seven year old uh, bag person. Yeah, seven year old bag boy. Yeah. When they used to go to Walmart and, and, and Publix, they used to be the generate. I mean, the, the the job to go to as a kid, you could always get hired there in high school. Yeah. You know, but nowadays it's hard. It's a little difficult because now all the older people are taking those jobs. And the thing they need them jobs. That's exactly. the thing. They need them now. Yeah. So what do you do with the kids? With them kids. What do you mean? What you do? With them? What do you, What do they do? If they. I them? think I think what they should do is instead of teaching this foolishness in the high school, and what you should do, like you said earlier. Involve more trade and other kind of courses in high school. Okay. So real life situations like yeah, like, uh, your culinary school or, or wood shop or mechanic work or something they're gonna use carpentry. Immediately, as soon as they graduate high school, they could go into that trade or whatever, and they could lead them to a career instead of taking these all, all these unnecessary classes. Like yeah. I think they should they should have courses on um, entrepreneurship, business. They should have courses on how to fix your credit. Like, I don't know why that's not uh, incorporated in high school because what happens is as soon as you graduate, you know, high school, you're 18, 17, 18 years old, the first thing you're going to do, especially if you go to college, you go, what you going to do? Go get a credit card. You have to get a credit card when you're in college. Is this a, uh, you're gonna, yeah, you need it. But then, then and then you're going to do, do wild stuff. You're going to go through that phase and then you're going to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. So they should teach you that in your senior year. They should have those classes. Yeah, but now now it's a little different. Now that they focus on, because now the teachers have to teach certain subjects. And, and, and for that damn and, test. And, yeah, for the test. Well, FCAT or whatever they call it. The standardized high school test. AKA, we're going to fail the test and we want you to drop out so you won't be nothing. You'll be on the street. Well, you know, hey, that's the way it is. <laughs> you know what it is? And uh, I'm glad we're talking about this. I was speaking to somebody earlier about uh, kids in, the, in the, the, <clears throat> the urban neighborhoods nowadays. For Miami Gardens, for instance, Miami Gardens have, a, five. Miami Gardens have a, a high rate of murders from young kids. And based on my opinion, I don't think that they don't really have anything to do. In the urban neighborhood, we based everything on uh, Little League football, Little League basketball. Other than those things... What else they have in the, in the urban area? Yeah, 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 we talked about this before. Yeah, we. Yeah. They don't really have anything in the, yeah. in the urban neighborhood to do other than little league football, little league basketball. What if you don't play sports? What well, are they gonna do? Well, they have libraries. Now, are they gonna go to them? That's the question. They have library is not a cool spot to hang out at. Let's talk about now generation. Now kids don't go to libraries and hang out like they used to. They it's don't. not a, a, a popular hangout spot. Because what we had arcades. Yeah, they don't have that type of stuff no more. Have yeah, they have more. If you look at the summer programs, what summer programs they have in the urban neighborhood? Yeah, we talked about this before. Yeah, they don't have anything. Yeah, yeah which is so now, now it's the summertime. The kids are out. The murder rate gonna go up, and, and the uh, the crime gonna go up because the kids have nothing to do. Cause you looking for something to do as a child. Exactly. You like you okay? What are we gonna do? And then if you hang around the wrong crowd, exactly you gonna end up right. doing what they doing because they ain't nothing to do in the summertime. You home, ain't doing nothing. Exactly. Look at that TV. Why playing video games? games. In our, in, our, in our neighborhood, there's nothing to do. Well, they got to have, like we said before, we talked about this, they got to have different programs. Like, you go to the other, the better communities, they got all these summer programs where kids go here, they go there, they go. They have to have the same thing in the other community. Somebody has to step up, mayor, whoever, of every you know, city. You know, the big problem and, with that and, is and, that the mayors and the commissioners don't even live in the city. They don't of course they live not. In the city. They live in somewhere else, <laughs> so they don't really know what's going on. They just so, letting their paycheck and, and trying to represent that little small city, but they don't live in that city. You got to get somebody like, uh, what's his name? The 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 uh, the mayor of Miami Gardens, Oliver, whatever his name is. He 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 does well in the community, and yeah. I think he might be from Miami Gardens, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I that's the type of people we need. We need people like that. You need people like uh, the senator of New Jersey, Cory Booker. But you like he's with the good in the community. Like you need people that's from that from that community. They understand. Mm -hmm. 
So they, they lived it, they know how it is, and they're able to put more money and resources to the community. If you get somebody really from the outside who don't know, they, they may take it for granted. And that's mainly what they do. You get some, you can't get nobody that's from uh, Pepper Pine to say, okay, he's going to be the commissioner of Opal No, nah, that's not going to work. They don't really know nah. he'll get the job, but what is he going to do? Yeah. He really don't know the, the people's uh, lifestyle. He's going to do it for the look. He's not yeah. going to really be he committed. He's going to stay there for two or three years, improve his resume, and move on. He probably moved to another state. So let me put you in a dilemma. So you from my gardens. Three well, you know, you know all the... Let's say it's a lot of the six trial, my regards, whatever. But you know these areas. So you want to better these areas. But let's say the black people is in these areas doing bad. Right? But you got these people who's homeless or have nowhere to go uh, um, in these areas. But you want to better your community. You want to do all this stuff. But these people, they ain't really responding. They're not really doing nothing. It's kind of like their weight. And you as a commissioner or whatever, how do you deal with that? How you, how do you deal with that? You can't really deal with it. Like, for instance, uh, rest in peace, my grandma, she was staying in a small city in Georgia. She tried to improve the community by asking the, the, the governor and the commissioner to uh, add a McDonald's or add a, a Burger King to give mm -hmm. these young people something to do, give them a job to do. That man told her, no, we don't need that extra traffic in our neighborhood. <laughs> Simple as that. They don't really need that traffic. People don't really want to help each other out. They just try to get what they can out of here and move on. Right. It's not about helping people like they used to. Now we see a homeless man on the street. We just go on the other side of the street and keep going. Back in the days, we see a homeless man, we drop a quarter in his cup, 35 cents in his cup so he can go get a soda or whatever, and keep it moving. Well, I think that, because of that reason too, because of the homeless people, there'd be a lot of scams going on. So I think that yeah. has something to do with it too. Like a lot of these homeless people ain't homeless. And then a lot of these homeless people do some things to you. So I think that's, I mean, along with a lot of everyone just looking out for themselves. But I think, you know, that's a whole other story. But Most, most of the, my, my main uh, uh, thing is the young kids these days from age 12 to 19 years old have nothing to do in their community. There is no parks that want to help the young kids that's 12 years old to 19 years old, help them with education. Uh... You know, they just they just roam in the street. They just like a lost cause. They roam in the street like zombies at nighttime. The parents are at work, so they're trying to find something to do. It's more to life than just going to clubs and hanging out and smoking weed. Yeah, word. How long are you gonna smoke weed and hang out at the club? They get bored after a while. Snoop been doing it for thirty years. Yeah, but that's Snoop. <laughs> I guarantee. I guarantee you I make money off of it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He's not absolutely. doing that as a, as a hobby. We just gonna go to the club on Friday night. He's not doing that. He's going right. to collect some money. All right. Hey, let's get into good points, though. Let's get into the, the situation with the uh, what you were talking about with the the women, of course. Hey, ladies. How <laughs> <laughs> did you did you want to talk about that? I thought you wanted to about the women, about the jobs. Yeah, then y'all want to talk about that. Yeah. No, well, look, get into it. I had a uh oh, talking to a coworker, and, and you know, I see that. <laughs> no, for real. You know, I'm, what I'm saying is right. I'm saying to, your, to, to the ladies out here. It's not. I'm, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. But look, the 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 women is taking over the job field. Don't say for the. <laughs> the women is taking over the job what do you, field. What do you mean? You have to be more specific. What do you Many mean? Many that women. You see more women working than men. And why? Why? Why is that? Why, why do you feel that way? Let's. let's it's, it's not. That, 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 that I feel that way. Is is the truth. They're working more than men. The women can, getting, I, getting jobs more I can than men. I, I can give you reasons why, but I want to know why you say that. I because why. because I, I got a perfect example. One of my coworkers. I can't tell you what jail, but one of my coworkers. And she's we, she's an inmate. No, I'm about to say because she don't have a job. She inmate. Yeah. Coworker. Oh, no, you can't say coworker. Yeah. <laughs> inmate can be your coworker. Okay. <laughs> you got about that. I didn't go, but anyway, <laughs> said that he went to. A, Roll call or what y'all call it, briefing, whatever. And he said ninety percent, ninety percent of his uh, employees was women. Well, it depends on what job you're at. You get what I'm saying? Because every job you go to, it's not going to be majority of women. It's going to be majority of men. Let me break it down to you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give you an example why it's that way now. Women, there, women are getting more jobs than men. What what happened was. It was a time where we were the breadwinners, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We, we provided 
for for our families. We bought the, the bacon home and all that, so to speak, right? Mm-hmm. And during that time, a lot of things changed. For what for whatever reason, the man um, later on wasn't around the household, right? Yeah. So when that happens, what happened? The mother is now a single parent. In most of those situations, you may have, you know, other kids involved. The boy is now the man in the house. Right? Mm, okay. So now, mom is saying, you know what? Daddy's gone. Ten years old, you're the man in the house. Sometimes that brother has younger siblings. So now he got to go. He got to go out and do something, mm-hmm. whether it's working legally or illegally, yeah. right? So what that does is I'm gonna do this for you guys because Mama got three jobs. It's not enough. So when he puts his back out there on the line, the younger sister. Let's say he got a younger sister. Okay. Now the younger sister ain't got to worry about that. She could just go to school. She goes to college. So a lot of that was going on. That's one scenario that's, that goes on a lot. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of things that gave the little boy, making him turn into a man. Mm-hmm. He was stripped away from having them options. That's one. Two, women just got smarter, straight up. Okay. Yeah, they saw what their mother went through with that whole scenario. They said, I'm not going through that. So what I'm going to do, I ain't going to mess with no guys. I'm going to go to school. Okay. I'm going to finish. I'm going to put my career first. I ain't going to be like my mama and have three kids at the age of 22. Okay. I'm going to go to school, focus on my career. Okay. Then I'm going to worry about a man. Man ain't going nowhere. Okay. That's, a, that's another scenario. The other one is a lot of these dudes get locked up and killed. Of course. A lot of these, a lot of these guys are in the streets. Are turning, are turning gay. I mean, whatever, whatever. I mean, I, 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 but the thing is, they getting jobs. Yeah, gay people got money. Like, okay. a lot of the stuff that we support and they love, got, they got big corporations. They, they the head, they the CEOs. Yeah, okay. so the, the gays get money. That's that's you know totally different. It's just straight up the women got smarter. Okay. They got tired of depending on the man, mm-hmm. and they just went for this. Went to school, became uh, entrepreneurs, business owners. They buy a property. They took over now for quite some time. Women have been the breadwinners. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think it's and that's just the truth. But do you have a problem with a woman being a breadwinner in, in your home? No. It depends, it depends on the type of relationship you have. Because now, if, if she's a, uh, in an abusive relationship, or she just, it just depends on your relationship, basically. Because you still got to carry your weight as a man. You don't want the woman to pay for everything, even if she want to pay for everything. You still... To drop off a few dollars, to pay her, pay her rent, or pay her mortgage, whatever she want to do, you can pay that. Let her take a break some time and, and, and pay the little less, less bills. Let me tell you, that's true. But as a man these days, you already have to expect the woman to be the breadwinner. Off rip, off rip. You you uh, you have to. Mm-hmm. Unless unless you have a great career, yeah. already, chances are the woman the breadwinner. But the thing is. I don't have a problem with it as long as, as that woman doesn't lack humility. And that's my issue. Like, the more money you make doesn't, de- doesn't define you as a person. No. And I think in society, a lot of us, like money, the, most, the more money you make, you're the man, you're the woman. Mm-hmm. As, long as, you, as long as you have humility, I'm cool with that. We can't get in the argument, you be like, well, that's why I make more money than you. And that happens a lot. But that, that's the thing that's, that's, that's going on. That's you the know, problem. We might be okay for a minute, but then that's why, you know, I pay the mortgage. I pay this, I right. pay that. Because now, when it's time she get in her feelings or whatever the case may be, she can't throw that at me. She can't say you don't pay all the bills or you don't do this. I'll tell you, go take a break this month. I'll take care of everything for you. But even but even if she do that, if you're in a relationship, that should not define your relationship. Don't. Who make more money? But that's one thing that they can't <laughs> use on you. That's firepower. Well, that, if, if they if they use that only, you don't need to be with them. Hey, Straight up. Like if, if, so, if you yeah. let, male or female, but we're just, we're men and we brought up women. Yeah. If a woman brings up that financial foolishness to you, you don't need to be with them. But you know, it's going to come apart in everybody's relationship that finance is going to be an issue. Yeah, it's going to be an issue, true. 
That's that's a lot of reasons why there's problems in relationship to throw it in someone's face. Yep. That that shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be, but you know, it just this uh thing is everything go peaches and cream for a minute, and then uh, as soon as she she feel like her money is dwindling, oh, I don't pay for everything. When you gonna pay for something? You don't need to be with that person. When you gonna do this? Or when you gonna do that? And then you look at with a with a, the, the, the cricket face like I ain't got no money to pay for that. You don't need to be with that person then. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's said in the word, like, regardless of how much uh, a female would make, the man is head of the household. You still have to respect that man as as a man. Yeah. You know, he may not he may not make as much as you do, but if something go wrong, we still the protectors. Yeah. Like we're still the man. Yeah. So. But uh, okay, I don't have a problem with, with the uh, female not, making not, money. I don't. Okay, not going something else now. Now, do you believe in a? Uh, uh, Shucking up with somebody, just like you need to get into this talk because you know um, you you, you uh, uh, believe in shucking up with somebody. What I mean about that is that okay, say say you meet uh, a, a new girl, y'all kicking out, y'all been there for or whatever a year or two. You got your place, you got her place. Mm-hmm. Now it's time to to take it to the next step. Now she like, oh yeah, my house every day. You might well just move in. Mm-hmm. What do you do? You cancel your apartment and move in with her. You cancel your mortgage and move in with her, or do you tell her to do the same thing and move with you? TJ, how you feel about the whole shacking up thing? Let's you could you could put the word in, involved in it because you know in the word it says not to. But what, how do you feel about that? As a man, my mom always told me get your own. Word. Shouts out to uh, Patrick Sandra Dixon, but you always say get your own word. because you, like you never know what's going to happen. Like we just went back to oh well, she might have an attitude that day and she paid the bills and. She kicks you out the house. You have nowhere to go because you right. have your own spot. Right. Do you right. know what I'm saying? And you shouldn't be shacking, shacking up anyway. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. But people do it. That's how it is nowadays. Right. Okay. Let me ask you a question. You know, in the word, I know you know. We all know here. It says not to do that. Your grandma said. Everyone said don't shack up. Marry first before you move sure, in. Yeah. Is that realistic in 2018? That's not realistic. Okay. It's not realistic. That's what you should do. But because it's not realistic, doesn't mean you got to follow the trend and do what other people do in the world. Is that a trend though? But, uh, like, it's not a trend. Let's, let's, but, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. Like, okay. can you really know somebody? No, I don't. I don't before, know. before you move in, I don't can you really know somebody? I don't think you can. You got to learn it. Everybody put up a front when you first meet them. Yes, okay. the honeymoon phase is something else. You get them about six months, or whatever. They, they gonna cook. They gonna clean. They gonna wash your feet. They gonna do everything for you. Wash your car. They gonna do everything for you. Everything. But as soon as you move in, they change it because they feel like they got you. Your sex life would dwindle. It went from every day to maybe twice a week. You're doing it like jurors. And the next thing you know, you're falling off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to schedule the sex. Uh, we can schedule around 3 o'clock on Saturday. Yeah, that's how it is. It's just, you know. So I, I love the Bible. It's the greatest book in the world. I try to follow it as much as I can. But that whole, uh, not you got to be mad. Up. Yeah, not shocking up. In 2018, man, like, it, to me, it's just not realistic. You have to, to stay honest. with somebody to get their habits. Right. Because, like I said, they putting up a front, and then when you actually move in, you be like, this person ain't clean. You know that? If you're a real meat freak and somebody move in with you that ain't so clean, you're going to have a problem with that. They ain't going to wash the plate. They ain't going to uh, clean the bathroom. They ain't going to do the shower. They're going to have right. to, you know, step all over the place, and this going to irritate you, and you're going to start nagging at them. And it's going to cause conflict in your relationship. But, that's, but no, but th- this is why you don't jump to move, you don't jump in relationship so serious like that. You have to get to know a person first. So y'all telling me that if you've been with a person four years, mm-hmm. you still know the person. Which I mean, you, you still know the person have because look, it's only so long you can fake the phone. You know, you're not the know a person until you move in with them. No, they, they, no, they, they, listen, 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 listen. I'm, they, I'm, they, I'm, they, I'm, they, I'm, I'm going to give you an example. They can fake the phone forever. You don't live Too far away, right. Like, yeah. you with somebody from four years, right? You with somebody four years and you ain't, y'all don't live together. You know, you know she go on there. You don't know. So you, you don't know. You telling me as a woman, <laughs> you telling me you don't know. You go to her house, her, 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 for four years, her, her house is clean. Yeah. Yes. All the time. Clean, 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 clean. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. You, I, I, won't, you know, change, I won't man. trust that. I won't trust that. How would you know? I won't yeah, know. So you the, the, the reason why I won't trust that because your, your house is clean every time for more, all the time you're faking the phone for four years, you won't find some dirty dishes. It's gonna be something some, best some up people, everywhere. Some people don't live like that. Nah, I, I gotta do They know they got company, so they're gonna straighten up. Right. Okay. It's called tidying up. Yeah, right. but at the same time. He come over and let me go wash these dishes right now. Okay, but the same. He's bad up and lay out his food where he won't. And then he leave. 
Yeah. And y'all do what y'all gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, you get my drawers out the bathroom. Yeah. Coming. But uh, you, but all the conversation alone, you, I mean, you, I think you're smart enough after so many years to discern what type of woman you dealing with. It's a big word, discern. You, you know? see what I'm saying? If you're a discernment, now see, y'all making me dig. Y'all making me dig now. Oh, dig, 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 dig. If, if your discernment about this this woman yeah. is yeah. not. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. Discernment. How do you spell it? Discernment. D I S C E R N M E N T. Look, if your discernment and she's fooling you like that, that means that you blind to certain stuff that she's doing. You probably have to help for one thing anyway. You know what nah, I'm saying? I, I, I'm trying to tell you because if, you, if your focus is not on if she's a potential wife to you, and you feel like she's a potential wife because you're not going to be sticking, I'm just dating this person for four years, five years just to date them. No, we're not. No, we're, we're not going to do that. We're not saying that. But what we're saying is you can have that person to be your wife, but you don't know people until you get into the house. Until you get, okay, let's say you're in the house. Together. Together. Okay, so once you're in the house together, you say two years, three years, right? Okay, yeah, two, three years. You're not liking how everything's going, so I'm going to leave her. Mm-hmm. After seven years, mm-hmm. I live with two years, I just can't deal with it. So I'm, it happens all the time. I have an opportunity to leave her now. It happens all the time. So your intention was, you know what? I want to see how this person is, how this person live. I'm going to waste seven years of my life just to find out that she lived nasty and she wrong. It happens all the time. Okay. But it all, that have to change. Yeah, like, like people have to change the narrative for that. Yes, I agree with that. Like, But... That the way it has to change is people have to really be fully committed and have to put in that work. Yeah, and that's, that's this is why that's, that's if you have that mentality, this is why we have babies all the way a lot. This is why people not problem. people that not is, stand, people not staying together because they are free. Okay, you know what? I got to stay with this person before I know what's going on. So a lot of women jump into relationships with guys and move in right away. Um, I don't know. A man should be moving in right, right away with a woman in the first place, anyway. No, but right. dudes do it. Okay, let me ask you: How long is the proper time to move in with somebody? You don't, you we, don't know. Y'all don't know. Just when you, you know, feel right? it's the right time. But you see, like I said, a man should have their own. Right, period. Good. If a man don't have his own and he mooching off, everybody, girl, everybody should have their own. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, uh, 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 and then when yeah. you decide, when you decide to come together, you come together. Yeah. He should have his own spot. She should have her own spot. One thing my mom told me is that I'm paying all the bills. You can't never tell me to get out. You, you can't, can't never tell me I ain't never pay no bills. You can't never tell me I ain't help you out. You can't never tell me that uh, you went without. Yeah, you can't my, never say that. My mom always told me, like, make sure your situation is straight because if something don't work, then you you have a, a you know a backbone or yeah. something to back you up when you're straight on your own when you're not dependent on anybody. Exactly. That's how it's supposed and to that's, be. That's how it's and, let's, and, and ladies, let's keep it a buck now. If you decided, ladies listening, if you decided to not shack up or whatever they call it, move in before you get married, let's say let's say you did, let's say you just moved in with a guy, um, you didn't move in, you never moved in him, in him, literally, I can't even speak. You never lived together with this guy. You got married it's the first time you lived together, and the physical part ain't good. You think these ladies gonna stay? They out of there. They're gone. Yeah, yeah. We on IG, IG live. What's going on, your IG? People don't plan to water years of their lives, but you can fall out of love. Waste. Okay. So what are we saying? So <laughs> people don't people don't don't plan on wasting years of their lives, but they, she said that they can fall out of love. You can fall out of love within a month. Damn, you know, sure can. Things don't go right like it's supposed to. Yeah. You know that's why you take it slow. You know some days you know you deal with all her behaviors. You know, some days she wake up, she might have attitude. You know how to deal with that. Some days she wake up, she don't want to be bothered. And you won't know that until you live with a person. Exactly. Because <laughs> the first thing she's going to say, well, I'll call you back. And you don't really know what the situation is. You think of dealing with you, but she just needs some time by herself. Mm-hmm. We keep harassing her. Oh, oh, what I did, what I did, what I did. And then, you know, she just, you know, I'm tired of you too. <laughs> you, but you don't really have nothing to do with the first situation. So what do you do in that situation? You like just leave the person alone? Yeah, you can uh, Okay, leave the person alone. But well, yeah, you have to know that individual. Yeah, you got to fall back. You can't just be smuggling her. Yeah, but what I'm saying, okay, <laughs> which I understand, that's true, that's true. You can't. Smuggle. But I cause they want to go back to cause this. Is, this, <laughs> this is a topic that was going on that people are like, you know what? I had some dude, dude don't you want to try to sample before you marry her? That's what they say. Yeah, you want to sample? You do. You want to try to sample? I'm telling you again, again, okay, but hey, again, again. A chick, if she don't live with you and she just marry you for the first time, live together, 
and your physical ain't right, which shouldn't be uh, up there in relationship, but it kind of is. If your physical ain't right, she out of there. Out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to see that. You should be able to see that. She know what? You be able to see that. She know what? Through the through the through the through the years. She know what? You ain't doing You ain't doing that. No, no, I'm talking about if you leave with some person, you see how a person is. You know what I'm What do you have to do with your physical? Your physical attributes? Yes. Oh, you you got to take care of yourself? No. No. Oh, no, no sex, man. Make it love. What do you call it? Okay, okay. all right. All right. Yeah. So you want to so you want, so you want to talk about that? You want to talk about that? You want okay. To. All right. So maybe it, so she have a good dude. She's not staying. She have a good dude, right? Not she's not staying. Staying. And dude, but it, she's not staying. But she rather. So you telling me a, a, a woman rather stay with a a broke Burger King working? We ain't not working Burger work, not working Burger King, but he's. Lazy, stay on the on the couch all day, smoke weed and play man no, all day. No, no, but he no, had, no, no, we're, no, not, no. we're not talking about that. Bro. No, but I'm saying no, no. We just talking about because you talking about that's totally you're talking different. about sex. Yeah, that's that, totally different. listen, you know, sex, sex. Let's 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 keep it a buck. Talking about a guy with a good job, Who, who's a good guy. Yeah, and they don't move in. To, they don't move in together. He got all the right stuff going on. Okay, they finally move in together. Okay, get married, do it the right way. Okay. He lagging in that department. Okay. You think that chick gonna stay there? No. You think she's gonna be faithful? Oh, no. Get out of here. But, 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 okay. Stop. But why would she stay? Stop it. Stop it. Why would she stay? Not stay? Because they're not sexually attracted to him. Bro. Oh, no. Wait, 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 they're not satisfied. So, 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 so you, you condoning that they, my, since the sex is not there when they finally get married and they finally have sex for the first time and they not sexy. The sex is not there. She's not attracting him like that more. She should just divorce him. She got to the I'm, I'm not saying she's she going to do it. She's going to do it. One or two. She's going to do it. In 2018, if you ain't satisfying them, they're, they're gone. gone. They're gone. So, the same yeah. thing with a dude, too. Yeah, if her sex is white, she out of there. He out of there. He's like, damn, I shouldn't have married her. I should have tested her. I should have tried before we got married. Okay. Let's be real. Okay. Finance, sex. Everything else is a part of a relationship. For some people, God is up there. For some people, sex is up there. Yeah. Over God. This yeah. is being honest. Yeah. She is not staying. She is not staying. Definitely not. At all. Uh, so this person said, uh, what, sexually, spiritually? Yeah. Do you, she agreed. I'm going to IG right now. She want to go two-way. You want to go two-way live? You want to go two-way live? Uh, not really. Tell this person that she could uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. We not, You know what I'm saying? Thank you for being on here, but YouTube and Anchor, she could. Uh, but but, but what I'm saying is right here <laughs> is that I I no, I understand right this. Uh, look, that's between that's between you understand if you do this marriage thing right, it, you wanna you do that between God you know, that's a, a covenant that you do it between you and your wife and God. Okay. So you tell the God that you know what, hey, I stuck with a I don't like you no know, sexual wise he she or he's. He's not satisfying me, so God, I want to divorce him because he's not satisfying me. It sexually. happens all the time. Okay, <laughs> but, uh, uh, it happens every day. Okay, but this is but now if this happens every day, this is why ain't no more black man in the home. This is why. But that, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 no. This is why there's no more black man in the home. This is why black man. Though, no, no, this no, no, I don't care. But this is what I'm trying to tell you is yeah, that yeah, this is why the, this is why the man is back in the it's home. Like you. <laughs> this is why the man is lacking in the home because okay, stuff okay. like that. This is why we <laughs> have <laughs> no. Why not? This, this is what's all in the general. This is what's okay, man. In general, men in general. I said they say men in general. Okay, but this is why the divorce rate is so high because stuff you're, like you're that. Right. You're exactly right. Okay, so you're now, right. so now is the divorce rate. So you want to stop the divorce rate? Now this is why it puts fear in people to get married because they don't want to get divorced, so they rather stay out. Of the marriage, they want to stay out of marriage. No, get married, married, have sex, have sex, have sex, out of will, like, have these babies. So when they have these babies, guess what? Now they go, they can leave because they're not satisfied anymore with this, this woman that they have a child with. So when they leave them, guess what? Now you have this oh this dude in the NBA. But when they get the awards, when you see the dude get award, you don't see his daddy up there. You see his mom up there. This you is America, there? and this is what's going on. This is America. But do you accept that? No, this your America. It no, won't be no, my America. America. This, this is because America. I don't want to have that. Listen, listen, listen. We're not, listen, listen. We're not, we're not saying it's right. We're not saying we want that. You're talking to somebody that worked in the family division for ten and a half years. And you know, I see this every day. You see it. I'm divorced, so I, I, I went through it. 
We would love it to go that the right way. But the reality is, it's not that way. It, Do we need to change the narrative? Yes. That starts with everybody. That starts with men, women, parents, everyone. But we're going to be honest. People are getting divorced for the most silliest reasons. They get into arguments, they get divorced. I done seen it all. Trust well, me. The arguments, you know, linger from something else. You know, one of those three things. Spiritual, finances, or sex. Right. That's where most of the arguments come right. from. Right. It ain't coming from, oh, uh, hey, I don't like the way you made up the bed today. Or, or, or you waste too much money on gas. Or you put too many miles on my car. It's not arguments from there. It's not. It's those three things right, right. there. Most people have arguments for those three things right there. I'm bored. This is not fun. Yeah. I'm not satisfied. He lost his job and got laid off. I, I'm tired of him being home every day. Uh, right. All the internet, running up my, my AC. This is real stuff that happens. It's not right, but it's what happens. The thing but in it, real life, once, once a man been working for 10, 20 years, and then he get laid off from his job, it seems like the woman just dismiss him. Yeah. And at a time, that, that's when you're supposed really to support them. Yeah. You're supposed to be each other crutches. When one person falls... That other person is supposed to help them hold them down. It sounds good, but everybody don't do it. Exactly. And that's just the truth. But everybody, everybody's not going to do it. That's the truth. That's the, like you, but, like, but like you, you said. Just find a good woman who's going to hold you down. Yeah, you never know. Too. And, it goes, and it goes back to what we saying about, look, but you never it goes know. back to what we saying about how uh, on that first date. Yeah, but you never know what's going to happen. On that second that date. You can say, oh, yeah, she's going to rob me, rob me, rob me. And then as soon as that situation occurred, she gonna dismiss you, just like that. You gonna be like, "Damn, I thought it was, I thought you were gonna stay with me. I'm gonna need you right now." It sounds good. Like in the beginning, so like, like, like how we said in the honeymoon phase. Yeah, it sounds good. Well, I'll be there for you, baby. This and that, 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 that. that. You, 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 you never that. exactly. You never know until you get into your Luke darkest hour. See what happens. You never know until you get your darkest hour. The people, the people, the people, the people who have been that done that. They say like you've been more mature now in relationships. You know, you know what to res- to expect now. You know yeah, what you're if, looking for. If, if you go, off, you divorce and then you go into a new relationship or or, or whatever the case may be. Hello, you never don't know. You don't know, man. Till you're in that situation, this is a new phase of life. You can go so now. You got somebody new. You don't know what they're gonna do. You yeah. know what they're capable of doing. Right. But yeah. that's why you get your go back with. That's why you get your own. Yeah, but they they ain't got no clue. Well, that's, that's different. You know, that's that's we already established that that that's that's something that you have to have. You have to have your deal with somebody, right? So do you do you live with that fear? Like then you you never you supposed to okay, live with that fear. Like, like okay, then you never you never know what the person might do. Okay, I understand. So you never I wouldn't mean, I wouldn't mean, I wouldn't mean call that fear. I call it awareness. Like so you, you anything, aware. but yeah, anything in life you've been through, good or bad, we're gonna say bad. Anything you went through, bad. And you jump into any situation new, of course you're gonna be aware. You gotta, you gotta be aware. I don't care, what, dude. I don't care if this you've been in a car accident, if you've been shot, whatever. You go back to that same area, you are gonna be concerned about it. You better be. Yeah, you gonna be, you gonna be concerned. concerned. Yeah, you gonna. You ain't gotta fear it, but you gonna be like, damn, okay, I've been down here before. Okay, okay. so so your well, antenna is gonna be up. Screw up. Your antenna is gonna be up. Okay, I, mean, I knew what happened last time, so we kind of move this way. Yeah. I know what happened this time. You go that way. You're gonna. You're not fearing. You're just yeah. being cautious and aware. Yeah. Okay. Fear in situation about. is you don't go down that road ever again. Okay. You can still go down that road, but you know Your if you see be an all time high. If you see certain things, you be like, you know what? Been through that. Right. So I now I know to look for. Okay. That's the difference. If I don't go down that road ever again, that's being you have fear. So it's a difference. So you want to be aware. So you, you have to be. You have to be aware of the person. All right, so see, you never know what you're doing in a new relationship until you go through some problems. Tell okay, until you go, through, yeah, you're right. When you say you go through some problems, I understand no, that. If you meet somebody, let's say hypothetically, you meet somebody and you already don't have a job and you you, you already at your, your your lowest, and then she stay with you at your lowest, then you come up, then you know she okay with you. But if you already meet and you already your you know your highest, and then something happens to you where you get knocked back down to your lowest, she don't know how to move in that way. She's not going to lie to Yeah, she, it is. Yeah. We can see yourself. So, yeah, my girl ain't going to do this. She ain't going to do that. It sounds good. You don't know until that situation happens. You don't know. You don't know. Let your car break down and see if she's going to let you hold her car and drive around town. She's going to pick me up. When you coming home, you can't find no other ride? Who has, who has got a car? Yeah, that, that <laughs> means... your cousin and nobody come pick you up? Yeah, that, 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 that don't make no sense right now. That's just what's going to happen. She's not going to keep letting you drive her car all across town and do your, your, your little escort uh, activities. Oh, I'm going to the gym. Or I'm going to Miami to go get a haircut. Or, or I'm going to overtime to play ball. 
She don't want to hear that. She yeah. finna drop my car the wrong time. Well, certain women, certain women will do it to a certain, to a certain, certain, certain extent. Do do that. Certain, to a certain extent, that's then if you ain't doing that with yourself, Most then the do world will be like, no, hey. That's like trying to find a remote in the, in the, in the couch. It's very Most women gonna do that, man. Most women gonna do that. Trust me. Yeah. yeah. I, I, especially if the girlfriend's talking to the air, too. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we don't want to talk about the girlfriend talking. <laughs> it's part of the game. You know, you know, this. It's part of the game. You know. I mean, are you qualified to... to Say something to well, I guess no. you know, it's your home girl, but no, a lot of them ain't qualified. It, 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 they're too sincere. Yeah, it, you have know, a single woman who's never been married before in their life would try to tell a man what to do. Exactly. Yeah, and she been single. Well, my homeboy Al say, Al say, you know, don't be fooled by, don't be fooled yourself with these women, which is true. Everybody been hurt with some. Everybody been. Ain't never been hurt by somebody. They put up a front. They put on disguise. Until, yeah. until, until you go through some problems, you're going to see who really there for you. Yeah, and maybe with this yeah. problem. Sometimes you may go through the problem. Maybe God's showing you that, hey, this woman not for you when you go through problems. And sometimes you never know until you're up close and personal with them. Yeah. Exactly. Sometimes you don't know what your en- enemies, who they are until you, your enemies is the closest one to you sometimes. Enemies can be your family and friends. You yeah. Know. The closest one to you. The devil disguised in many shapes and forms. He ain't just a, a dude with, who's red and got horns. He can be uh, somebody, a chick with a fatty and some breasts. Yeah. yeah. And, and a pretty and, face. And, 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 plot plot and plot on you. And you won't know until you're that close to him. You can't know by, okay, we're together. We go home, bye. You, it's not going to work that way. It sounds good, but 2018, come on, let's stop it. Let's stop, let's stop have, lying gotta, to ourselves. You got to have that discernment. You got to learn from, learn from your mistake and have that discernment. You know, yeah, I'm you, sorry. Let me know the, the name of this episode. This is- <laughs> yeah, 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 you better name it because, because you have to, man. You have to. You have to. Because you know, the women is aware. The women, is a lot of black women actually who I talk to feel like they have no hope of finding a, a decent black man. They do. And there's men out there who feel like they can't find a decent woman. So yeah. what is, well, uh, so but again, both, uh, both genders saying this, you know why they saying this? Why this coming to her in previous relationships? Right. That's okay, so they're, and they're scared and they're and they're fearful. They're they're full of fear. So that's and, why they're saying. And this. the type of type of dudes that that, that most women are, are are attracted to are not attracted to them really. You see what I'm saying? They might find a guy, or I might be attracted to this guy. He clean cut, nice shade, whatever the case may be. But see, look at his finances. He ain't financially stable. So she ain't gonna want to talk to him. She better go deal with Joe Blow. That's financially stable, but treat it like crap. Because but they don't care nothing about that. As long as the sex is good, they don't care. Well, they care about finances also. Yeah. I don't care how good your sex is. If your finances ain't there, they ain't, they ain't, the they ain't, the sex is going to last. So, 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 all right, hold up now. So, it's only gonna last so, so women want, men, men and women want best of both worlds. Want good financial stable, stable uh, men and the sex got to be good. They want all that in one, wrapped in one. They want more. You got you to gotta have the 800 uh, uh, credit score. You got to have a six pack. You gotta have a nice car. Yeah. You gotta be emotional and sensitive and understand their feelings. And I can go on. So does that put <laughs> men? So so is that uh what you what, what I'm looking for? Oh. Expectation or um yeah the one of the, yeah, okay if you gotta have this quality. Women has a list of, of, of stuff like, that they have a before they get married to you. Okay, okay. A ridiculous list. When they come up to you, the first thing they ask you where you work at or how many kids you got. You got a girlfriend. You got a boyfriend. Or, or, or who you live with. They went all this thing, put you in a little trial, trial 30 day period, so they can look up all your. your, your hey, papers, best, hey, best believe. Investigation on you. Best believe when they're asking for your uh, your middle name and all that, they're not doing it for conversation. They look you up. Yeah. Okay. But you know what? You, 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 know, you know what's funny about that? I got a question for y'all. Do you think we need to do the same thing? Of course. Okay. Yeah, because okay. you might have a, you might have a crazy ex boyfriend. Well, you know, ain't got to do it. But hey, name. you'd be surprised. But they ain't got nothing to do with her middle name. When you Google this stuff, they don't show it. No, I'm talking about for us. You just got to look them up. Yeah, you, you have to. Like, yeah. I, I know what I think? I think their expectations are crazy high, and our expectations are low. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, like, with, with, with us, you know, it's always been if the girl is cool and look good, we straight. That yeah. That's always been yeah. the expectation. Yeah. Our expectations need to be. Just as high as theirs. Like we need to find out what their credit score is. We need to find out um, how she treat her kids. How is she in public? How is she around her family? Yes, we could. When we put her, we put on that expectation list all the way at the top. Then we won't be with her because our list gonna be so high because we're gonna expect her to do the same thing that we want out of her. Oh well. So what? <laughs> oh well. So, so why? Don't be like that. 
Is this no, I mean, we're, we're not like that, though. Our, our, our list won't be that way, but our expectations need to be higher. So, how, I mean, look, look, I'm trying to tell you, man, because how many women that have expecta- have this list of expectations, but they themselves. don't find it in anybody by themselves? By themselves. A lot of them. A lot yeah, of them. Lot you of see them. what I'm saying? So, why do you have an expectation list like that? You got to take the good with the bad. Nobody not perfect. Well, you want to jack your ball, let your boy say. <laughs> but look, though, let your boy say. You want, you want a can, but you're not no Barbie. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of people end up being gay, too. And you got that, too. Well, that's, you know, that's another subject. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you know, saying. you, you, you. But far as relationship-wise, you know, women expect guys to do a little more than what we expect them to do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Say you come home. I'm going to give you a scenario. Say you come home every day and you don't take out the garbage. Say you're busy, you've been working double shifts or whatever, you're tired. Okay. The garbage ain't been taken out in three, four days. <laughs> the back of our mind... And back of my mind, she know that the garbage ain't been taken out. She know that you've been working at 16 hours. But I guarantee, as soon as you try to go do something or say, you know what, I'm going to go out of town or I'm about to go uh, uh, to the gym, you better take out that garbage. Yeah. You better take out that garbage. She know what's going on before you know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. They already got it planned in their head. They already got it planned. See that? But the thing about it is we're all, we're, we're all probably guilty of that. We probably, with situations like that, we have to... Probably take the initiative. Just yeah. go ahead and do it, even though it might hurt at the moment. But you know what I mean? Let me go ahead and do it, so I won't hear that. It could be a couple of things in the garbage. <laughs> I'll still go take it out, because I know 10 minutes later it's going to be full, and then she's going to say, oh, why you take out the garbage? Or why you do this, or why you do that? I don't be wanting to hear that, so I, I'm already a step ahead, I'll just take the garbage out. And y'all want to hear my garbage story? Go ahead. Real quick. I yeah. told you about that? No, nah, go ahead. Come on with your, no, no, no. Not with your pops. No, no, no. With uh, my ex, right, it was always a problem. Like, she cooked, I washed dishes, but she had a problem with uh, with the dishes and the garbage being out, right? She always wanted the garbage out. So, it was probably like 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the initiative and take the garbage out. Took the garbage out. You know, at the time where I was living at, you had to take the trash to the... To the yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night. See my neighbor, I'm talking to my neighbor. Hey, what's up, da, da, da. So, all of a sudden, the girl runs through the parking lot screaming. So, we're like, what's going on? Next thing you know, wow, we had to get low. Kids running, I don't know why kids was outside this time of night, but kids running behind the dumpster. We had to get low. We was, we was low for like um, a good 20 minutes. Then we seen a dude walk through the parking lot. Had you know had the, had the, had the ratchet on his bows and his pants. After maybe twenty minutes, my ex came outside running, crying. Thought I said something, and the dude shot at me. Hmm. We ain't had no more discussions about taking the damn garbage out. <laughs> that was it. But it took that far. It took that far to realize it. Yeah, we ain't had no more discussions after that. It took that out in the morning. Yeah, it could have waited. So yeah, sometimes some crazy stuff got to happen for for people to realize. Okay, maybe. All you're gonna complain about little things ain't that important. Yo, but that's what we do in relationships. When they when, when we suffocate each other and smuggling each other, we start nitpicking. You know, why you don't go here, why you don't go there, why you don't do this, why you don't do that? That means she had enough for you. She needs some time alone. Hmm. Or well, you need some time alone. It eventually gonna happen to everybody's relationship. It happens, but it's like you have to guess what I say in relationships, you have to have like a um yeah, going mature, in. whoever that is. Boy, I, you're going in right now. Yeah, oh, you, you, do. you know, it, 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 it oh, kind of, you, but, you know. Do you, you have a girlfriend? But, <laughs> yeah, boy, he, he stay with one. But like I say, right, like I say, it's uh, um, <laughs> he say uh, like I say, man, it, it's what you, it, it, it gets tough. Relationships get tough. I don't see angry. You know, hey, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, boy, man, yeah, boy. Well, no, like oh. relationships, it, it gets tough sometimes. You know, that's why you gotta have you no. Know, I, you have a couple that, you know, like for us, you know, they keep us rooted, Easy. grounded. Easy. You know, let me say, like, no, for you keep it rooted, grounded, keep stuff going. Life's too short to be worried about small stuff. It happens. You see what I'm saying? But like you said, until something dramatic happened to that person, then you worry about that person. You have to have that tent in the back of your mind that that's what Bible said. You don't go to sleep angry. You right. never know what's going to happen right. to that person right. the next day. Dang, I just yelled at him by taking the trash out. Yeah, but then and, in reality, not and I could have, I could have got shot. Yeah, and, that's out a, there. and you and you, the trash. And you start to think about that. You know, you, at night. you can't worry about stuff like that. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? At the same time, not to cut you off, women gonna do that. You get what I'm saying? 
you, you, you can have an argument. She's going to lay right there and go to sleep. You're going to be a, a, up all night worried about what's... And she's going to be sleeping like a queen. Nice and peaceful. <laughs> and you're going to wake up with that on your mind because you done got one hour of sleep. Now you're going to work. Now everybody you upset with, everybody you upset with, now she wake up smiling. Like I, don't know. Night. I don't know. I don't that's the case, man. I don't think they sleep peacefully. Nah, I mean, I don't think they do. Women think about that. Yeah. Women think about yeah, that. I don't think so. And they, <laughs> they, they sit there because they plant, they plot the planet. Of course. You, you, Which is dangerous. It's dangerous. You can't, you can't, you, if you think about evil stuff, your attention, your emotions going to be evil. Women is emotional creatures. So you think about that, that's what's going to happen. So ladies, if you're listening, you know, uh, call in, leave a message on Anchor, comment on YouTube, give us our opinion how you feel about, um, you know, women shacking in, if, if that's still the, the thing to do or if it's not to do. And and also about women um, who are the breadwinners. Tell us how you feel about that. Leave your message, leave your opinion. Uh, before we close out, is, was there anything uh, you wanted to, to, to get into uh, at all? No, that's about it. I think it looked hungry over here. Oh, <laughs> Me too. Uh, it's not a tall house, get some eat. <laughs> TJ, was something you wanted to get into? Oh uh, yeah, y'all look out for. He got kind of sensitive on this subject. That's cool. No, because you gotta know, understand. You know, like, I'm tired of <laughs> got a me hearing, we got a hearing time. all these, just hearing all these questions about how black women and and, and they can't find nobody and stuff like that. Shaking <laughs> up. Hey, your boy is. Yeah, that's where he gonna go. That's they don't go. think. They just act. He is. You know, mad. but you know what I'm saying. But <laughs> in the day, like I say. Uh, I want to give a shout out to, to everybody who actually bought a Motivated for Christ shirt. Your donation no doubt, with no the doubt. shirt is not going in vain. Like I said, we buy stuff for the homeless. We actually making moves, like uh, making moves. Uh, Rail Bug is doing the photos and everything uh, for us, and you know, really appreciate that. Um, just want to give a special thanks to you know everybody was doing that. I, um, look out my, my Motivated for Christ YouTube page going that because we talk about some real topics about that too. Um, so, also tag us and share us at Motivation of Christ on uh, Instagram. Uh, tag us uh, with your comments and your questions. And also, if you make a purchase of the T-shirts, uh, tag tag Motivation for Christ and uh, show a picture of you wearing a shirt. We'll give you a shout out. Oh, did oh the giveaway? Did anybody hit you up? We have to talk about that off the air. Oh, okay. I hear a lot of people. Uh, yeah, we got to talk about that off the air. We got to do a, a different way of uh, doing that because it was crazy. It was really crazy. Well, yeah, we got to yeah, do it another way. All right, well, we're going to come up with something. We got the money here for you guys. We, it's all about giving. We want to give back to the listeners. You're just not doing this. You know, we ask you to you know, do something to the better your community because it's getting real serious out here. You know, a lot of kids dying out here um, from gun violence. And it just it been happening like this. But it doesn't take it. Work on changing your household first for right. your Chinese community. It, it starts from the home. And again, um, what we'll do with the gift card situation, if you can guess on, I believe it was the first episode, how much Tall said that he would spend on this on a date on the first date, then you're the winner. Okay, that's good. So that'll be better. Again, I believe that was the first episode. Exactly. If you can guess how much the amount of money that Tall said he would spend on a first date. You're the winner. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and uh, inbox me. What was it on IG? Who was doing this? I think it was on IG. On IG, on the Railcast IG, which is DJ Real Life. Um, and again, you can subscribe to the YouTube page, the Railcast and IG, Motivation for Christ. You can leave again. You can leave a comment, message, or whatever on Anchor. Give us your opinion on that. How much is it, how much is the gift card? Uh, what did you say? Did you say twenty dollars? It was a twenty dollars Visa gift card that Motivation Price and uh, Real Cash will be giving to the lucky winner if they can guess how much toss they would spend on them for date. Right. And I have an, uh, another uh, giveaway. Well, the one person that has the best uh, solution to better our community. And better our uh, relationships. I give you a free T-shirt. Hit me up at Tall Three Hundred Five on Instagram. On Instagram. Okay, good, good. And again, the the, the twenty dollars gift card giveaway is on uh, the Railcast on Instagram, DJ Rail Life, and the YouTube YouTube page is the Railcast as well. So that's it, fellas. We out. That's it. Peace. All right. Uh, signing off. Railcast. Peace. All right. <laughs>